What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be reviewing the latest Dirt Face ROM which is based on Android 11 on today's video. So let's begin. This is the 5th October 2020 build if I show you the file's name. As you can see it says Dirt Face 11 official build alpha not a stable build yet so I'm not gonna recommend you flashing this ROM right away but if you want to really flash this ROM you can click on the card right there. You can see how I flashed this ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro. And this is the GApps included version. It is almost 1.11 GB it says over here. And this ROM I have been using for a really like long time. Almost has been 5 days now that I am using this ROM. So yeah, I gotta say the ROM is almost stable to really drive with. I never faced any kind of issues like random reboots or something like that. I never faced those. So right now let me just go into the about section. Let me show you how it looks. So in the about this is how it looks like. Of course on top we see the Dirtface logo up there and the Android version still is 11 as you can see from here. This is of course 11 so it shows here just like this. Let me go back. The security patch is still of September 5th, not quite October yet, but that's fine. And here the Dirtface build, you can see the build date again, 5th October 2020 again. And the stock kernel is still perf G kernel. And if you want to see the particular change logs for this particular build, you can see or read it from here. They are, are the changes and you can see the quick setting panel has updated to like four column and two rows. So that is why it looks like this, four columns and two rows. So as you can see, I can like scroll through it just like this or you can add multiple toggles over here on the quick settings panel and on this quick settings panel, as you can see, there is this location in word colors, etc. Also, there is the like screen recorder over here. So as you can see, you also have the option to record device audio and microphone audio both at the same time. And this works flawlessly, no issues. Otherwise, the like scrolling between the quick toggles is pretty fast and fluid. Nothing is laggy over here. Everything is fast and snappy. Now talking about the stock launcher, well, this wallpaper, it like is from the previous build. But on this build, I don't think that this particular wallpaper is there. I'm not sure. And I have also installed the like Google's wallpaper app. That is why, as you can see, there are the living universe section, but it does not open simply. I don't know why. As you can see, there is the come alive section and we have this wallpaper over here. And you can have any wallpaper, of course. This I have installed separately, of course, from Play Store, the Google's wallpapers app. So that is why it's there. Now talking about the stock launcher, this is a pixel launcher. So as you can see, it says pixel launcher. So to the left of this stock launcher, we do have the Google Now cards or the Google's discover page you may call and swiping down gets you to the notification panel. So that is not an issue. Swiping down gets you to the app drawer and also the widgets and stuff are working fine. But as you can see, there is a little bit of white border on this like thing. As you can see, it has this settings over here for this particular widget. But yeah, the widgets are actually working fine. So that is not an issue. The stock camera here is a Google camera go. So nothing much to get excited about about the stock camera. This is a pretty basic camera. It says how many pictures you can take with the left storage that you have. And even in video, you can see how much hours you can like or how much minutes you can shoot the video on. So yeah, this is a very basic camera. I would say if you are coming from another custom ROM which has MIUI camera or something you might be a little bit disappointed here but yeah Google Camera Go is like taking fine pictures it's not bad or something but yeah this is how the camera <laughs> looks like of course and you can take normal selfies even portrait selfie option is there as you can see so if I take okay so if I just take a portrait picture as you can see it does take the portrait picture and here this part over here is blurry if you are noticing and if I switch over here, as you can see, this part is in focus. So yeah, the portrait pictures and stuff, everything works. Nothing is like wrong over here with this Google camera. And also the like light of the front camera is working fine. No issues with that. And this is how the system panel looks like here. We do not have any system updater yet. And in the gestures, we do have the system navigation gestures. These are the Android 11 kind of gestures. The full screen gesture over here is working totally fine with Android 11s. And here you can customize the left edge, right edge kind of thing. And two and three button navigation options are there too. So that is not an issue. And quickly open camera option is there. So you can double tap the power button to open the camera quickly when the device is locked. 
so that is one cool feature here we have the front camera sound effects you can disable or enable any kind of sounds over here for popping on the front camera and the stock keyboard over here is gboard and as gapps is pre-included on this particular build the gboard is there so that is not an issue that should not be an issue for you i have also installed google camera 7 this is also working fine this is the unix version and if you want to flash this google camera and use night sight and stuff on this rom you can do that all the lenses and stuff are working fine even with night sight you can like switch to it you just go to the night sight again with that so yeah as you can see this is the gcam 7.3 version 2.2 by Unix. if you want to install this you can click on the card right there now let me tell you straight that there is no double tap to sleep or something if you go into the display settings as you can see there is nothing like double tap to sleep but double tap to wake is there and you can use that from the lock screen and it does work fine from even the always on display and if you're talking about the ambient display let me actually show you from this lock screen settings we do have this always show time and info that is always on display here or you can go to the advanced settings and have this pick up raise to wake hand wave pocket mode everything else for the ambient display but i'm not using that i'm just using the always on display and let me go back here in the display settings you will also find one more really cool thing that has been added with this update that is the accent colors as you can see you can change the accent colors right now to anything else like red and right now as you can see the accent colors has changed so you can use that also the dark theme is working fine over here as you can see this is how it looks like yes i have been using it with the dark theme no issues with the dark theme let me switch to the default one right now as you can see in the headline and body fonts there are a lot of fonts but i have been using it with the pixel font but yeah plethora of fonts options are there considering this is alpha build these are like plethora of options for fonts and we have the icon shapes you can choose from as you can see there are plethora of icon shapes icon pack you can choose like rounded field circular or anything else then we have font size display size everything else customization dc dimming mode is there but i did not use that so yeah dc dimming is there if you want to use that except for that we have the screen timeout then night light and auto or adaptive brightness is working fine here and then the wallpaper section is there so yeah and colors are set to boosted by default and there is a screen saver option too if you want to have that and let me go back from here actually and in the battery settings this is how it looks like now talking about the battery life this is quite interesting since it does not have a lot of customizations you should not be surprised with the battery life but yeah considering this is an alpha build again the battery life has been really really great i have got about eight plus hours of screen on time with this rom so no issues that i faced with the battery life i would say the battery life has been really really great over here so i would say if you are someone who likes a lot of battery life you can definitely go with this rom because it simply gives you about eight plus hours of screen run time with every usage so that's great with every full charge i mean like 100 percent charge and 18 watt fast charging did work super fine here no issues with that and here we have the thermal profiles for like changing it to particular apps you can put it to gaming or something if you wanna do that then we have battery saver adaptive or kind of battery use adaptive battery you can do that and battery percentage you can enable that from here if you enable that you can see the battery percentage on the status bar in the sound settings we do have the mi audio Dirac 2 so i have been using it with the youth edition and with this the sound quality via the headphone jack over here has been really really awesome i never faced any issues the sound quality is great with the headphone jack and bluetooth as well here we have also this enable hi-fi audio direct kind of thing and you can use that there is also the presets for the sounds and even for calls i never faced any issues with the audio quality and this is how the stock dialer looks like of course volte is working fine but view wi-fi is kind of buggy as mentioned by the developer and there is no call recording option on the ui of the stock dialer this is a pixel dialer pretty much no issues with the sound overall in this rom here we have touch sound charging vibration dial pad tone screen locking sound etc disabling option again we have live caption and vibrate for calls option is there but here some more interesting thing is that you can change it to always vibrate or vibrate first then ring gradually and stuff like that so yeah these are android 11 kind of features and this is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this anywhere in the ui and this is how they should look let me go back now let's quickly talk about some cons of this rom there will be some cons of course because it is alpha build the headphone icon does not simply appear even if i plug in a like headphone over here a physical 3.5 mm headphone it does not just appear the icon i mean just does not appear over here on the status bar but maybe you can toggle that with any kind of app i guess and some more things like the app lock or the face unlock is simply not there if i go into the security 
let me show you there is no app lock or face unlock right now but the developer has promised that the next updates will be having those features so that is gonna be a really interesting thing to see in the future so right now let me just quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed and since there is no like double tap to sleep i use the power button as you can see this is how the always on display looks like and let me actually unlock the device and as you can see the fingerprint scanner is very fast even though this is a alpha build the fingerprint scanner never gave me any issue from the lock screen right now as you can see unlocks fine now again i can double tap to wake the device as you can see and i can tap the fingerprint scanner and as you can see it unlocked now let's try with the night light turned on and here with night light from this always on display it unlocked let's try with the left hand some night light turned on always on display and it's still unlocked now night light turned on lock screen right hand thumb still unlocks and with the left hand thumb night light turned on from lock screen still unlocks it is very very reliable fingerprint scanner even right now even though this is an alpha build and you can trigger google assistant or stuff like that just by swiping from any corners of the screen just like this so yeah this is a very interesting feature this works super fine now on the previous video of this particular rom flashing i did not show you guys the power menu but here as you can see this is how it looks like in the power menu and you can see there is the power off kind of thing and screenshot and emergency mode and the whole screen stays black and if i am on the lock screen and if i hold the power button right now it shows a fingerprint scanner on the bottom to just unlock and the power menu will still stay over here so let me just show you as you can see if i tap the screen will actually be unlocked when i go back right now so yeah that is how the power menu shows over here in this ui and with this power menu if i tap the power option and i can just straight up restart from here there is also a power off option and the restart option and if i tap and hold the restart option it will go to the safe mode there is no like advanced reboot or something yet but yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how they look like in this power menu with advanced reboot in future and on the recent panel again this is how it looks like and here as you can see we have this selection option so i can just select any kind of text from here just like this as you can see i can select this text and share it or copy it or search for it in google so that is a very interesting feature considering this is a recent panel kind of feature and you can take screenshot of this particular like app over here as you can see right now if i take a screenshot from here this is actually the screenshot of the app like inside the app not of the whole screen on the recent panel so that is a very interesting feature and you can of course like add some doodle over here if you want to the security level over here for drm info is shows as level one so that means you can use netflix or amazon prime in 1080p over here so that is a really great thing but one thing that does disappoint me is about the safety net status well if you test that as you can see the basic integrity fails the cts profile fails right now and there is this response signature only that passes or say success but overall safety net test fails but you can flash magisk and use magisk hide if you want to really use desperately any kind of banking apps but right out of the box i do not have magisk over here so that is why the safety net simply does not pass over here so without magisk i cannot use any banking apps as of right now now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app owner speeds and the ram management here let's open twitter play store youtube and just notice the app on our speeds and the animations over here let's open instagram and by the way while i'm playing a song or something over here with spotify or any other app it shows a kind of like thing like this which i'm showing the screenshots of and as you can see on the status bar it looks like this looks very cool and beautiful in my opinion so right now let me just open all these apps from memory And as you can see, this is how it looks like. The RAM management over here is pretty good. Even the animations of the app opening up is pretty fine. And if you want to go split screen or something, you just go to the recent panel. And from here, just tap split screen. And over here, this is how you can go to the split screen mode. And you can set a like kind of limitation of the split screen mode over here. So that is very good. This is working super fine. No issues with this. And you can remove a particular app just like this if you swipe up or you can clear all the apps from memory just by tapping on this clear all button on the left side of the recent panel and if you want to know the benchmarks here are the android and geekbench score of this particular rom 
and I'm gonna be pretty excited about the features which will be added in the future updates like the app lock or even the face unlock so yeah I'm gonna be waiting for that let me in the comments what do you guys think about this dirt fist on the like redmi k20 pro I think this is working great if you want to flash this ROM you can just follow that video on the card right there and you can flash this particular ROM Thank you so much for watching this video guys and give it a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends if you want them to know the redmi k20 pro is running android 11 super fine right now and please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye now